So have you ever wondered what the real pros and cons are of personal training online versus doing it offline? Well, in this video today, I'm gonna to share with you three of what I consider to be the, the cons of personal training online, but also three of the pros of training online as well. So if you're in that place in your life where maybe you're thinking about becoming a personal trainer and you're weighing up, should I be online or offline, or maybe you're new to personal training, and you've heard a lot of stuff about online personal training, good and bad, or maybe you're a seasoned veteran like I am, and you've been doing all of your stuff face-to-face -face offline, and you're now kind of thinking, well, with what's happening in recent times, maybe now's the time to really consider uh, possibly going online. So in this uh, training video, I'm gonna share with you three of the pros, three of the cons. I'm gonna start off with the cons first, uh, and it's all based on my personal experience. And if you want to go a little bit deeper on this topic and have a conversation around it a little bit more, uh, there's a link below here. It's to a workshop that I run. Uh, it's a paid for workshop, but initially we can have a conversation and have a free chat about anything to do with what I'm covering in this video. So at least you get a better insight into this whole world of online personal training. Uh, and just for complete transparency, I now work as an online personal trainer having worked as an offline personal trainer for well over a decade. So really what I'm sharing today, really just my experiences of, of how I found it. So let's kick off with um, what number one pro, uh, number one con is as an online personal trainer. Well, the first con really for me would be simply there's no camaraderie. I mean, you know, when you work online, it's like you. When you work in a gym, a uh, commercial gym, you've got other fitness professionals around you, other PTs, other health professionals around you. And you know, you can just bounce ideas off with each other. You know, you can see how other people operate, you can exchange ideas, and just generally you can just kind of chew the fat when you've got other people around you. And I know when I first started out as a personal trainer, you know, I really valued having other people around me so I could do exactly those things. Uh, but again, depending upon the season of your life and where you're at. Uh, that may be less important to you. I know there are some people that really do need to have people around them. They crave people around them. They need to feed off their energy. You know, I was always quite lucky in that regard. I was more than happy to, you know, have people around me, but equally as happy, you know, not to have people around me as well. So that, that's the first con I would say is that you're not going to get that camaraderie. And if that's really important to you, then really you've got to think long and hard about you know, if you do go online, where are you gonna get that camaraderie from in your life that maybe you, you, you crave? So that's something to think about as a possible con for going online. What's number two? Number two is quite an obvious one, really. Number two is not being able to correct clients' uh, form when they're exercising. And if someone's doing a squat incorrectly, or, you know, a single arm row, or a chest press, you know, you're there, you're on hand, you can quickly make those adjustments, you know, just adjusting things, maybe just the weight, maybe just the start position, maybe give them, you know, an alternative exercise to what they're currently doing. Because, you know, when you work with especially newbie people that have never exercised before, uh, they are quite in need of good instruction. But what I would say as well is a lot of people are more than happy to go on to things like YouTube, uh, you know, Peloton is now popular. Uh, you know, back in the day it was videos and DVDs and VHSs if you go back that long. So people are more than happy to watch other uh, instructional things on their TV monitors, in fact, on their mobile devices now. Um, and it is possible, and people do a really good job at correcting people, you know, over things like Zoom. That's what I basically do. But the reality is, for quick changes, um, you simply can't do that online. It's not as easy, but it can be done, but it's not as easy. So that's another con, that's number two. And number three, I guess is a combination of both number one and number two, and that is there's no basic human interaction. You know, it's kind of like you. You know, I work from, I'm sat here right now in my office, it's me uh, speaking to you. You know, if I was doing this offline, you might be in a room with me where I might be delivering this coaching and training. So I'd have actual human contact. So when you're online, you're not gonna have that interaction with people. And again, if that's something that you really crave, then you wanna think long and hard about working online because you know it can be a lonely 
existence if you don't have other outlets to be able to go and meet other people and again depending upon the season of life you're in that may not be a big issue maybe you've got other things going on where actually you get lots of social connection doing other things and getting that social connection to your actual job may not may not be that important so there's three cons of um, working online now let's talk about three of the pros of working online so pro number one and this is like a huge one certainly was for me the overheads are way cheaper when you're working online now when i very first started out i was a freelance personal trainer so my biggest overheads were the initial outlay for the equipment which weren't that much to be honest uh, and then petrol on top of that and that's what it was that was the overhead and then when i moved into an indoor facility it was monthly rent i was paying to the gym uh, so that was in the major overhead i then progressed from that to running my own studio and then multiple studios so the overheads were uh, the studio rent uh, the equipment the maintenance of that equipment so that became you know insurance for the facility um, my insurance uh, working with people although i still have insurance now uh, but it's way less but when i had a facility the insurance was a lot higher because you know it was the building as well and the equipment within that building so the overheads are just so much cheaper when you're online yes you still do have overheads when you're online and i'll do another video about the types of things that you will be paying for but in terms of the comparison between the two it's like day and night in terms of the cost for running an online business versus running an offline business so overheads way way less pro number two it's simply just way more profitable it, it, it's just so much more profitable when I was working offline uh, doing when I started off I was doing hour sessions they eventually got that down to half hour sessions but let's just say my hour sessions I'm now getting paid more for doing less than I was doing face to face I'm getting paid more for doing less so it's just way more profitable being online and the good news is my clients are getting as good if not better results in fact just the other day I was doing a photo shoot with a client who I work with she lived in Surrey I'm in Wiltshire uh, and we did her makeover shoot at her place uh, got a fantastic weight loss result so it's not as if I'm making more money for doing less and not getting the results from my clients I'm actually getting as good if not in fact better results with my clients uh, and it's more profitable and they're happy with the results as well and number three and this probably is the biggest one for me number three and it's more freedom and flexibility when you're working online I'll give you an example uh, 12 months ago I was at a tennis event it's the army tennis champs I, I go back for the uh, the veterans tennis now and the day of the tournament in the olden days if I was offline I'd have had to either a not play the tennis tournament because I had clients or B cancel my clients because I wanted to play the tennis well I was able to do both because I had my laptop there so in between matches I was able to sit down I think I had to reschedule one of the slots with a client but basically I said look I can see you at this time here it was only a 25 minute session so I got online saw my clients and played the tennis tournament as well so it offers way more freedom for me and way more flexibility and I think you could do the same for you if that's important it certainly is for me certainly in my season of life now but I think at any season of life I think having freedom and having flexibility is really really important so there's my take on three pros and three cons for being an online personal trainer and if you'd like to have a conversation around this topic I said there's a link below this video uh, it'll take you to my uh, online workshop where I talk about how you can create market and sell your own successful uh, weight loss program be that offline or online uh, we can have a conversation around that topic and we can see whether or not there's a possibility that you and I might uh, do some work together but that initial chat is free so go ahead find that link click it and until next time take very good care and bye for now